What's up guys? Welcome back to Maestro Vapes. Today we are looking at this, the Caravella clone. Uh, the real one's made by Pedro. This is the H cigar version. Let's take it in a little bit closer. We'll get a little more intimate with it. See what you get when you buy it out of the package and uh, its components, what you get, all that good stuff. Then we'll come back, have a vape, and uh, talk about the pros and cons, all right? So, let's dive in. All right, the Caravella clone from H Cigar. When you get it, it comes in this little blue carrying case, zippered carrying case. Open it up. And this is what you get. You get three different size tubes in here. You get an 18650, 18350, and an 18500. They come wrapped in this little plastic, and they're nice shiny brass on this version here. They have your logo signed by Pedro. You can swap them out if you want. Um, I've got the 18650 going because that's all I really ever use on Max is 18650s. So let's move this out of the way and have a look at it, shall we? Um, it's brass, mine is starting to patina just a little bit, it's starting to get a little more greenishy, brownish, dull kind of looking, which I kind of like. Um, the top of it, there is no airflow. There's no grooves cut into this. So if you're using a tank where it draws airflow from the base, from the uh, from the bottom you're gonna have troubles with this tank you're gonna need to use you know something where you're drawing airflow from the top or the side of your tank okay nothing else will work on this guy um, it's got your caravella so there's that nice little ship on there it says caravella mine's fake ass serial number 7208 and it has a forged Pedro signature, <laughs> okay? Um, the bottom of it also has the Caravella moniker on it. Um, it's etched in there pretty nice and deep, so you can actually feel it with your pinky or whatever finger you fire it with when you're pushing that button, which is really, really nice, okay? So you open it up, really simple, top cap comes off. Like I said, it's all brass. These are silver plated contacts. It's got a Delrin insert or insulator in here. Very nice. It hits pretty hard, this guy. The voltage drop on it is fairly minimal. Threading on it is decent, but I have found when I put this top cap on sometimes, if I don't get it just right, it kind of sticks on me. Like there, it's kind of sticking. And then I have to back it out to a different spot to start and then thread it on there. So it is a little janky sometimes. That might just be for the brass version of this. Okay, open it up. Take the, uh, actually I'll show you how the, uh, how the firing button works. You just turn it, it's unlocked. You turn it and this little brass ring turns. It's locked, turn it back, fires. It's uh, really nice, it's really nice. Um, sometimes if you hit it on the side a little bit, it doesn't fire properly. There's some voltage drop if you don't hit that connection just right on this. So a lot of times I kind of two finger push it just to make sure that there's a proper connection and you're getting what you want out of your battery, okay? Take the uh, bottom section off. There's your tube. And inside of here is another silver plated uh, connection. And uh, let's take it out. Let's see what's in here. You just turn that puppy out and there's going to be a little washer underneath here. I don't know if that washer is silver plated as well. And then this thing pops off. It's got some ventilation so it can vent out of the bottom of this. There's no holes in the tube. Then there's a spring and uh, your bottom firing button. It's pretty simple stuff. Okay, try and get that lined up again put this thing all back together it's kind of tough for me I have big fingers it's tough to get this uh, this connection in here screwed down because there's this little well in here it's kind of tough there is no insulator on the bottom of this so if you have a battery that doesn't have any type of you know coating or wrapper around the outside of this 
you're probably not going to be able to use it. It's just going to constantly fire. Okay, so keep that in mind. I think the Panasonic batteries, the gray ones, uh, don't have any wrapper on the bottom. So you won't be able to use those with this mod. And that's it. You can change your tubes around if you want. You can use your 18500s or 18650s. Bada bing, bada boom. Hits pretty hard. That's it. Caravella. 7208 serial number. Let's take a let's pop out of here and take a look at how she vapes. That's it. That's the Caravella clone. Intimate with it. Um, it really does hit very well. The voltage drop on this is very minimal. I thought it would be much more. I, I opted out for the stainless steel version because brass conducts a little bit better. So I thought that the brass one would conduct better. And I have a feeling that it does. It does hit super well, super hard. I do like the fact that it's just a single tube. If you want to change your batteries and use smaller batteries, you just change the tube out and it's just kind of a single piece. I really like that. I, I find that, I think that the, the current just runs through a little bit better and a little bit cleaner with less resistance when it is that way as opposed to a bunch of tubes. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I like the look of it. I really dig the uh, the clone of it. Like it's, I would I would probably buy the original of this just because I like the way this one looks. It is a one to one clone, blatant replica of it, um, but it's cheap. It's really cheap. I, it's like fifty ish bucks, fifty five bucks for this clone. I got this one from HappyVapor.com. Check them out. I'll put a link in the description below. Take you right to the page where it is. Maybe you could pick yourself up one too. I'll put a coupon code in there as well so you could save yourself 10% if you do decide to order something from there. Um, what don't I like about this? I don't know. It hits hard. I've had this Igo L just kind of living on here and it's a nice kind of size. It's kind of a small mod. It's nice to carry around. I've, I've been vaping this a lot at home with some uh, Wonderland uh, e-juice that I'm really digging today. Uh, phew, the firing button. Here's something that's kind of janky about it, is the firing button is a little selective, right? So if you kind of hit it on the side, it feels kind of off. I've been kind of firing it with two fingers just to make sure that it's hitting well. Other than that, I have had no problems with this. Feels good in the hand. It is brass, so it kind of feels like if you use it for a while, it gets warm in your hand. It starts to kind of feel sticky. You know, it's not really smooth like stainless steel is. Same thing with copper. Like, they're just kind of, they feel weird in your hand. Just kind of, the, the material feels more porous or something. But, uh, yeah, that's that's one thing. But you might want to get the stainless version if you don't like that. Check it out. It's a good clone. Very good. Um, <clears throat> like I always say, excuse me, butt out, vape up, and breathe easy. Know your limits and vape within it, and you'll have yourself a stellar day, my friends. Uh, check out the other videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. Doing a bunch of clones this week, next week, maybe the week after that. Depends how many I can put out there uh, over the course of this week. So stay tuned for some more, guys. Have a good day.